Okay, so, um, I think I've had a really rough couple of months after I've gotten my, um, my tongue pierced. As you know, in other videos, in another video, um, I've asked, I've asked my mom about, you know, wanting to get another piercing, and... I mean, one day we were in San Antonio, and I posted on Facebook. I was, like, so mad because she was like, wait till you're 18. And I'm like, Mom, by that time, I would have had a job. What do I look like getting a piercing, nursing it, and losing my job because I'm not able to hide it yet? It's dumb. Why not get it? It be healed, me have it, me hide it, and keep my job. So, you know, I posted on Facebook. I was like... Um, I was like, oh my gosh, I wish I was never born, dot, dot, just all that type of stuff. And so a lot of people were like, oh, well, it's okay. I got so many replies on Facebook from that. And, um, and so I was telling my sister, I was like, I was saying how, she was like, why do you want all these, why do you want piercings? I was like, because they're fun. And like, I don't know. Once you get a piercing, like a tongue piercing or a nose piercing, sometimes it just, it will get addicting. It will. Because, I mean, you just want, like, some people might wonder, ooh, what else is there? But, I don't. Well, so I'm only getting 14 more piercings. A lot of time doing myself. I know, infection, infection. But, no. Um, my cleaning regimen will be uh, antibacterial soap, um, H2Ocean, and tea tree oil. Now, tea tree oil can only go on about twice a week. It's good, but can't do it excessively, so I've learned. And um, so basically in some of my other videos, I may, I know I recommend you to a bunch of jewelry distributors and eventually I'll probably tell you which ones were good and which ones weren't um just stuff like that but she was just like why and again it goes back to the video of I do what I like or I do what I want to do and um that's basically me I mean my body it's what I want to do with it and I'm going to do it um my mom wasn't sitting here and agree with me to do it professionally so I said okay and next thing I know my last resort ended up being doing it yourself if you want something done right then you need to do it yourself and um I know I'm at the teenagers repulsive age da 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 etc but I've sat here and tried to compromise with my mom and everything else, and um, it just hasn't worked. So I just figured, okay, enough's enough. If you're not going to do it, then I will. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, people usually sterilize their stuff by dipping it in peroxide or alcohol. I think I'll do that too. Um, also using like alcohol swabs to clean the area. That seems pretty good. I also have numbing cream, so, I mean, I'm not being a wimp, but I don't know exactly how it would feel, and I'd rather be prepared for that feeling than not. Um, and I don't feel like using ice cubes, because that has a lot of germs, so, yeah. But, basically, yeah. So, for this new year, 14 more piercings! Um, but it's going to be over the break, so when I come back, everybody's going to be like, whoa, what happened to your, they can't even say face or ears because it's going to be both. So yeah, I look forward to it. <laughs>